Hello, this is Paul Milligan for Innovate TV at Infocom 2019 in Orlando, Florida. Welcome, thanks for joining us for this video. I'm joined today by Chris Axford, a familiar face from Digital Projection. Welcome, Chris. Hi, Paul, um, thank you. So for people who are yet to make their way to the show, or people who are maybe at home in Europe, uh, can't make it along, what's on the stand this year and uh, what should people come and look for? Uh, right, well, this year Infocom, slightly different booth layout than we've had before. Uh, I think it works a bit better. Um, first thing people notice. Uh, and really what we've got here is, is a continuation of what we started at ISE. So we showed two really new concepts of products at ISE and it was a bit of a last minute decision to take them along, yeah. uh, but it worked, it created impact and it created questions and now we're showing them in a slightly more advanced form. So that's, that's what we're seeing in the booth. What you see front of house is kind of the, the run of the mill stuff, the bread and butter um, yeah. products if you like. And around the back we've got three theatres that's showing off the cutting edge stuff. Okay, so the the theatre I'm looking at, sort of behind me now, or in front of me, yep. I should say, that seems to be garnishing a hell of a lot of interest. What can we find in there? Yeah, that's that's the really exciting one for us because this is our MLS um, modular laser system, uh, which is uh, basically a satellite projector heads um, separated by a run of fibre to the light sources. So we, we talked a bit about it at ISC and we had a, a private suite where we were showing a few people a very early prototype. Sure. Yeah, we've taken that a bit further now and we felt good enough to show it in a more public setting. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and really it's, it's, the, it's a fantastically flexible modular system, uh, which we think is going to change the way people use projectors. Yeah. So you, you've, got, you've got the heads, very uncomplicated, uh, low power consumption, quiet, low heat, simple things that are going to be much easier to mount, much easier to hide in an application. Sure. And then you put your light sources and all the heat and energy somewhere completely different. So really exciting stuff. Yeah, you, yeah. You I mean, I had, a, I had a quick demo. It, it, it seems capable of extraordinary brightness at a much smaller package than we're used to. Normally, with that 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 lumens, you're talking about yeah. a projector that's going to take two or three people to lift it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But, but these yeah. are kind of single person yeah. Yeah, units almost yeah uh, absolutely the way the way we're looking at it is we're, we're going to have three different size heads with different resolutions and different brightness capabilities uh, the light modules are kind of common to everything so you just stack as many of those as you need and as you say i mean most of those heads are going to be a one-man lift uh, two at the most yeah. if, you're, if you're going to follow the letter of the law sure versus you know 100 200 kilo box which is logistically a nightmare yeah and not just getting it around and physically putting it up on the ceiling but shipping it to that site or sure. if you have a problem you know these things become exponentially difficult when they're in those big packages sure and the the the, the power for it is housed elsewhere is that correct that's yeah. right yeah and the light source, how far yeah. is that kind of cable run capable of at the moment it can be up to 100 meters okay so you know typically people we've done a bit of research and typically 20 meters seems to be a kind of sweet spot that takes you far enough away from where the foot flow is sure. into a serviceable area but but you don't want to run it further than you need to of course sure. and the, the mls is still a, a prototype at this stage is that correct it, it, it is what we're showing is second generation prototypes here okay. um yeah we have a, a clear plan to get it into production next year okay um you know, we, we need that time as well, and, and, our, and our channel needs the time sure. because they're going to look at the way they design systems completely differently. Sure. And beyond that, there's a, something that was also, I see the, I don't know what you guys got, the, the 3D VR yeah, system the with the glass, a, and the HFR, track, which HFR has got the tracking on it. That's right, yeah. Can you talk us a bit through that as well? Yeah, so it's, it's the Insight HFR 360. So um, what, what we've got there is, is our tried and tested Insight platform, which is a native big chip 4K3 chip with a laser phosphor light source. Um, but what we have in there is then 360 hertz electronics, which allows you with one projector to have three 4K 120 hertz stereo images, individual images driven from a server, which give us our own perspective of what's on that 3D screen. Yes, because I, I had a quick demo earlier. The, the interesting bit is it's three people at once, but mm -hmm. they're not all looking at the same thing, are they? No, we, we, well, we're looking at the same thing, but as we would in real life, Different through our own eyes. Yes. yes. So the system is rendering, the servers are rendering what we should see based on our, our position. So that we're being head tracked as and to where what, we are. And what are you thinking are the, are the going to be the applications for the technology like that? It's, uh, the, the list grows every day. You know, you, okay. get, you get people from people doing automotive design, uh, medical people, training, safety training, sure. or, or even planning, planning supermarket shelves when you've got 4,000 stores dotted around the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah this stuff is, yeah, it's big money involved. Yeah, yeah. So doing it virtually in, in a way that you've never been able to do before is getting sure. people excited. Sure. It's, um, well, it's great to see a, a projector manufacturer with a stand that isn't just 
shelf after shelf of projectors that aren't plugged in. It's great to see you guys really showing the what they can do with the real the real capabilities mm. of these kind of types of units and stuff so it's, it's yeah. fantastic yeah it's, it's, it's exciting i mean of course we've got some statics but yeah the, the boots are really nicely laid out you know there's there's as i say the the stuff that people are familiar with in front and then you you step back and you get inspired yes. that's yeah, the yeah. idea and we're certainly you know we're we're getting incredible feedback it's constantly busy you're fighting for a pair of those 3d glasses yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so it's really cool really nice brilliant chris great catch up with you again thanks lovely for your time. to see you thank you thanks. bye, -bye.